So let's go into the uh, net flow in 9800 in this module. So the idea is uh, like in the previous module. So we will be focusing about 9800 controller and how you can configure net flow in a 9800. So we will basically uh, organize the module. Uh, first, we talk about some net flow net flow export configuration, and then. Uh, we cover some avc application visibility and control uh, we try to do the same thing in their os you know we tried the central mode and the flex connect mode so we'll do the same thing in here uh, just to get the comparison as well so one difference between a os and 9800 actually 9800 uh, there are no difference between virtual and uh, physical platforms you know feature wise you know like you can Uh, get all the features uh, across the board in that way same goes to the net flow um, all the mo controller hardware model and the virtual format of the controllers support this feature but obviously you need to know the hardware controllers has a uh, very specific asics in that way you get additional performance um, whenever you implementing in hardware asic level in that way hardware uh, model provide that advantage over the uh, virtual model so now the uh, net flow point of view you know, like uh, wave 2 and catalyst ap that is 11ax ap so those are the ap in you know, like uh, pretty much supporting uh, net flow uh, features uh, this is very important in the flex connect deployment because um, net flow or the uh, abc configuration pushes down to the ap in that way ap need to have a higher memory uh, to perform those actions so that way wave 2 and catalyst ap uh, supporting those features in the flex connect deployment model but when it come to the local mode because abc apply in the controller level in that way whatever the kind of ap sub controller supported ap you should be able to get abc because we are not pushing the uh, abc configuration to the down to the ap level in that way even the wave 1 ap <coughs> this is the wave 1 ap is the minimum uh, ap 9800 supported you can still get abc in the local mode deployment uh, because abc apply in the uh, controller level so same like a ros in you know, like when you are doing a, a, a application level policies you know like uh, it is limited to 32 rules uh you can only have the two rules uh, in the 9800 as well so we will basically talk about that in the lesson 3 in this module so before go into the you know like uh, individual level let's have a summarize view what is basically supported in this particular three deployment model uh, local mode flex mode and the sometimes we call fabric mode uh, sd access wireless so in the local mode you know like uh, remember nba applicable in the controller level traffic has to come to the controller and then the action take at the controller level so the flow monitoring cache maintained in the controller so you can export into a, a third party collectors no problem so in the flex connect mode uh, unless it is central switching uh, or local switching kind of traffic you have to take the actions at the ap level in that way uh, avc flexible net flow configuration will be pushes down to the ap this is where you need the wave 2 or catalyst ap to support this so again flow monitor cache maintained in the ap level um, and then flow export can be uh, done so this is what the listed i would like to basically you know like uh, test and see whether we can uh, directly flow export from the A local mode to an external collector uh, but in their os this is not supported you know like you cannot do net flow on the uh, flex connect mode so in the fabric uh, mode this is the sd access wireless mode it is very similar to flex connect uh, but you know like it's not exactly same because we using the vx lan uh, those sort of segmentation uh, macro micro segmentation um, even in that particular mode ap basically uh handling the traffic in that way uh, the n bar configuration or abc configuration uh need to push down to the ap so in here you can see it is saying uh, ap will not maintain in the flow cache uh 
in that way definitely the you cannot export to the uh, you know like in that way limited sort of low exporter support um so in summer you know like a uh, local mode pretty much like control handling the load uh, you should be able to do irrespective of the ap model you get but in the flex connect mode because everything handling the ap level uh you need to make sure wave to or catalyst aps are there uh, to get the full functionality in the fabric mode as well you know limited uh, support uh, heavy lifting done by the ap so now if you want to uh, get net flow visibility on the controller 9800 uh, they have given to a template you know like what we call a flow record template so you know like uh, these are predefined for you so these are called wireless avc basic and wireless avc assurance so ipv4 and ipv6 you can define or you these are defined to different ipv6 information v4 information is different because of that they have defined two different flow record template uh, that you can use so now a uh, point to remember is you know like whenever you using this assurance template it's trying to collect some application response detail in that way normal flow collector may not able to interpret this in that way you know like this is primarily targeting cisco dna center if you are using dna assurance you know like that way it can interpret certain detail or if you have a stealth watch you know like stealth watch now known as a cisco secure network analytics so they may understanding all this particular field extracted by cisco uh, other than that this assurance template may not work well with the third party netflow tool in that way if you want to use sort of third party netflow tool for 9800 pretty much at the moment this wireless avc basic template is the one you need to use so now if you look at that particular flow record detail you can see certain information identifying as a key field and certain information collecting as a non key field so this is the five tuple information in like protocol uh source destination address source destination port and then the flow direction and wireless ssid this is something unique to the wireless controllers because normal router switches you don't have this kind of detail so then they basically collecting the application name uh, ap mac address client mac address and bytes and packets that's pretty much the standard sort of uh, value they collecting uh whenever we using the basic uh, template so on the other hand assurance you can see a lot of other detail you know like uh, connection related application response related detail so this is where the flow collectors get confused if you trying to uh, sending this flow template data sometimes they may say it's unsupported kind of uh, parameters you know so now uh, this is the 12 different field you know like if you are using the basic uh, uh, template so these are the field they are extracting so then you know if you taking a wireless packet capture uh, you can verify those template details as well i will show this in the next lesson when we configuring and monitoring this so when it come to the uh, assurance sort of template flow records uh, there will be uh, 23 field you know 23 field will be 20 exactly 24 field you know like uh, template id you can see here there are 24 field uh, being extracted sometime even wireshark does not know all this particular field but cisco basically documented all this field values you know that way i have given here the table uh, if you are interesting to uh, interpret all this particular detail but this is dedicated for uh, cisco specific flow collectors either cisco dna center or cisco secure network analytics so that's pretty much you know like the basic overview so let's go into a netflow configuration in the next lesson